I'd like to welcome you all to Affinity Intercultural Foundation's 2021 New South Wales Parliament Friendship and Dialogue Ramadan Iftar Dinner. When we talk about country, we mean something beyond the dictionary definition of the word. It describes the entirety of our ancestral domains and our laws and our dreaming. I would like to pay my respects to the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Thank you, it's fantastic to be here. Can I say it's fantastic to be in a group of more than 20 people and not see you on Zoom. You know, having a dinner, I think, is, is one of the best ways that from any background, whether a multicultural, multi-faith society, it's a levelling playing field. But also to acknowledge the wonderful work of Affinity and what Affinity has been able to achieve in this past year. And I'm very honoured and privileged to be your co-host. Thank you once again and have a great evening. This is an ibru, a traditional Turkish art. It's formed by sprinkling natural paints over a basin of water and it received the name Ebru, meaning cloud, to describe the cloud-like image that formed after the paint was sprinkled over the water. We're going to see that in your Zooms, in your interviews. It's a great pleasure to introduce a very familiar face. In fact, it's hard to fathom how many cousins he has. I would like to call tonight's dinner the Garden of Humanity. The Garden of Humanity is inspired by a desire to celebrate the possibility and perhaps one day the reality of peaceful coexistence among all faiths and all cultures in society. I have four words that came to my mind while reflecting on tonight's iftar dinner. Courage, vision, dedication and optimism. <laughs> And I've got to say, uh, one of these beautiful iftar dinners was the final um, sort of splendid evening that my father ever had. He was uh, 84 and he died three months after he went to an iftar dinner at Parliament House. And he came back so joyous after having been to this iftar dinner and just thought it was the most beautiful thing and this sort of wonderful welcome and inclusion he got. We as Muslims believe that all humanity comes from one source and are therefore brothers and sisters united in their humanity. There is much to despair, and yet again, here we all are, different, yet together, with differing worldviews, but able to share a meal in peace. We all think about things differently. We challenge each other by bringing different worldviews. We did change one word of the national anthem, so at least now, we are all one. I don't say any of these things with political overtone. I'm not talking about politics, I'm talking about people. We cannot let humanity become politicised. We will never ever all be the same. And isn't that a wonderful thing? We will all take a little something that is different when we leave the room tonight. I give thanks that each of us this evening will take what we have shared together and share it with others from in here to out there. Continued 
for my 20 years is that I'm always hopeful because in my work I see sometimes the worst of humanity but I certainly see the best of humanity and tonight we see that reflected amongst everybody here. I've attended at their invitation on a number of previous IFTA dinners. They are a great opportunity to celebrate Ramadan and the cultural inclusivity fostered by affinity. Today's sponsors represent many different companies. Pfizer Australia Biopharmaceuticals is Anne Harris. The Lenovo Technology Solutions is Nick Finlayson. The Galaxy Foundation is represented by Erhan Oskut. Australian Relief Organisation is Merlin Gates. Puts it back to Cantor. Cantor! Cantor ties the single game franchise. The putback, no! I believe sport delivers connection and belonging in the community. It is something that people from all walks of life can join together to play, cheer, celebrate and appreciate, despite any ethnic, any ethnic religious or cultural difference. This is so important what's happening in this room this evening and whilst the energy level might rise a bit when a great Ennis Kanda comes on, and that's what sport tends to do. And why is because when you look around, you see the true vision of what Australia is. You see more than that actually is the promise of what we can be. But what is multiculturalism? We accept them. No, actually it's saying that we're better together. That's real multiculturalism. We are better together. But Tracy rightly in her brilliant speech tonight challenged us to do more, to do something. What we can resolve is to say, well, we're better together, which means, like brothers and sisters, I'm obligated to stand up for you. It's to say, this person next to me is part of this country, is equal to me, and I will fight for you when it's necessary. A gift from the Garden of Humanity. I'd like to invite Arti Banga, Editor-in-Chief of Desi Australia, to present a gift to Philip. It's been a delight. This is about the third or fourth that Alison and I have attended. Ahmet, you're a wonderful man. Uh, he's put me in my chronological place by insisting that I'm his uncle, not his cousin. Well, that's all right. I'm your uncle. Well, good evening. Ramadan Mubarak. Thank you.